Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you a new video. So I know it seems like it's been a while since I've posted a video. Uh, I've got a lot going on. Uh, but I've also been in the process of moving off of Haspian on my uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and back on to running uh, Home Assistant on an Ubuntu VM. I kept having issues with my Raspberry Pi and it seemed like it would kind of lock up after a while and it would lose connection to everything um, and I would have to power cycle it to get it to come back up which would not be so bad but then I'd cause issues with my database uh, so it just became more and more of a nightmare. Probably just something I did, who knows, that's what happens when you monkey around with stuff a lot, but nonetheless, I've moved back to a uh, a Ubuntu VM, uh, specifically Ubuntu 18.04, uh, so it runs the uh, current version of Python, which is needed for Home Assistant, and I'm running Home Assistant in a Python virtual environment. So this is a little different setup than I've done in the past. So this tutorial is going to show you how to set up Home Assistant on a Python virtual environment. It's pretty easy to set up. Not a whole lot more steps than just the regular version of uh, Home Assistant installed. But All right, let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So like I said, I'm starting with a clean version of Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, so uh, for starters, I'm just going to make sure the system is up to date. Uh, once that is done, I'm going to install a few prerequisites that are needed for this to work properly. Once that's done, then we'll go ahead and set up the virtual environment. Uh, once that is set up, we are ready to install Home Assistant. Uh, once we have that installed, we're just going to go ahead and set it up as a service uh, so that it will auto start on boot. And then, of course, lastly, I'm just going to show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So like I said before, uh, I'm going to start off by making sure my system is up to date. Uh, we're going to do that by doing a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade. And it'll probably take a little while for it to run updates on and everything, so we will kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now that updates are finished, we're going to install some prerequisites needed for this to work properly. So we're going to do a sudo apt install python3 pip and python3 Vim, v -E -N -V, for virtual environment. And again, I'll kind of fast forward through that so we're not waiting around for those to finish. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of set up our uh, virtual environment. So we need to uh, create a uh, virtual environment. We're going to call it Home Assistant. So let's say uh, Python 3-M V-E-N-V Home Assistant. And again, I'll put all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Uh, once that's created, we're going to move into that directory. So CD Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and activate the uh, virtual environment. We do that by doing a source bin slash activate. And as you can see, you put home assistant in parentheses there at the front. That means that we are in the virtual environment. Uh, now we're going to install wheel. So we'll do a Python 3-m pip install wheel. All right, now we are ready to install Home Assistant. So we're still in that, uh, it, we're still inside our virtual environment, as you can see here. So we're going to do a Python 3-M pip install Home Assistant. And it'll take a little bit for it to install. I'll fast forward through this a little bit just to kind of speed it along. 
All right, so once that's installed, we're going to just uh, run it uh, manually here just to make sure everything is working. So we'll do a has dash dash open dash UI. And it says unable to find a configuration. So it's going to create one. That's all fine and good. And of course, as you can see here, stuff showing up at the logs. Everything's looking good. So it looks like our Home Assistant install is working properly. So let's now move on to the next step. All right, we want to be able to run Home Assistant as a service. Uh, so we're going to do that by uh, creating a uh, systemd service file. Now, the only thing we really need to know for sure is we need to know where has is installed. So we do that by typing a where is has, and it shows the directory or the path of where that's located. We'll need that for our service file. All right, so now we're ready to create our service file. We're going to do a sudo vi etsy systemd slash system slash home assistant at adrian.service. You can call it whatever you want. All right, we're going to start out by uh, setting up the unit uh, description. I'm just going to make description be home assistant. Let's see, after equals network dash online dot target. And we'll move down to uh, service. Type equals simple. User equals uh, percent I. Now, exec start. This is where we needed the path to our home assistant uh, install. So we're going to do a, let's see, uh, equals home Adrian home assistant Ben has. And then we're going to do a dash C and we're going to point it at our configuration file. And uh, my configuration file shows up in home Adrian dot home assistant. Make sure you put that uh, home assistant uh, configuration path in quotation marks. All right, uh, let's see here, install. And we'll say wanted by equals multi dash user dot target. Once we have all of that in there, we're gonna head and save it. And now we are ready to um, basically enable it. So we're going to do a sudo systemctl daemon dash reload. And then a sudo systemctl enable home assistant at adrian.service. And then, of course, now we're ready to start it. Pseudo system CTL start home assistant at adrian.service. And then, of course, lastly, we just want to check the status on that. Pseudo system CTL status home assistant at adrian.service. And as you can see, it's active, running. We got logs and stuff showing up. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and move over to the web front end and see what that looks like. All right, by default, all we have to do is basically go to um, the IP address of our uh, home assistant server. And then the default port is 8123. And as you can see here, it's all pulled up. This is the web front end. Uh, it's even pulled in a Wemo switch that I had for my Raspberry Pi, which I can basically take offline now because I'm not using that anymore. And it's also pulled in a Fire TV. It does that with the auto discovery. So uh, everything is looking good. Now we are ready to, uh, you know, start playing around with Home Assistant. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Uh, for starters, we made sure our system was up to date. 
Uh, once we did that, uh, we installed some uh, prerequisites uh, needed for this to work properly. Uh, once all of our prerequisites were installed, we were then ready to set up the virtual environment needed for Home Assistant. Uh, once that was set up, we were able to install Home Assistant. After we installed Home Assistant, we then created a, uh, a service file so that we could auto-boot Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Like I said, this was a little different install than some of the previous installs I've done. This is doing it in a Python virtual environment. And like I said, I'm also running this on the latest version of Ubuntu, which is 18.04. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos out there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. Um, if there are any other videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.